Hi, fancy seeing you here. I went to Kyobu bookstore last week and a lot of the bookstores here have stationary sections in them. Because I needed some bits and pieces, I bought some stationery and I am here to share it with you all today. So without further ado, here it is. I should probably mention that Kyobo Bookstore is one of the oldest bookstores here in South Korea and it has, if I'm not mistaken, about 11 outlets. Uh, the one that I went to was in Gwanhamun. It is the second biggest uh, after the one in Gangnam. You can find a lot of books in different languages included, so I really recommend if you're out looking for something to read. For my first item, I got these pencils. They're normal HB pencils, it was just rainbow colors and I thought they would be really really nice to use later on in my studies because usually you just get normal HP pencils and they cost the exact same as with any normal packaging. So there really isn't any reason beyond them being colorful and me wanting to have a bit more color in my life because color is good and nobody can tell me otherwise. The second item is this to-do list which isn't actually for myself. It is for my younger brother. As you can tell on either side, you can put different sort of indicators. On the left side, probably numbers, and on the right side, the circles are probably for the check marks. But all in all, it just looks really, really cute, and I'm not going to open it because it is not my thing, but from what I can tell, it looks really, really awesome. The third thing are stickers. There are multiple stick stickers that I've purchased, so I'm gonna split them in two because they're quite different, as I will show you. So the first sticker, the first stickers are these. They are basically sheet stickers that you need to cut yourself rather than being pre-cut before you and you just peel them off. So you need to have a very fine a pair of scissors as you can tell because a lot of them are really, really fine. The one thing that I will say is that these stickers, once you peel them off, are very see-through. Um, so they're great for transparent, uh, not transparent, transparent backgrounds because that makes sense. They're very good for plain white uh, cream pale backgrounds. These are great. You get 10 sheets per pack. The other two things I got were sticker sheets, uh, the normal usual sticker sheets that, and they are these two. So the first one is of these little nice phoenix foxes and they're doing a bunch of stuff and it's a nice peachy kind of pastel-y, cherry blossomy vibe and I just really liked them. I thought they were the best ones out of the hanging ones and I really am using stickers a lot at the moment so I have a good reason. And the second one is these planets. Now I am hopefully going to have a lot of space in the future so I've decided that these planets are going to be used for that. Uh, but yeah, pretty standard sticker sheets, etc. The sticker prices and stationery prices are slightly more expensive, but you can also find something very cute for very cheap. Case in point being my next item, which is this Pikachu notebook. This Pikachu notebook, which is absolutely adorable. Uh, it has this Pikachu on the front in a stylized rendition of the Pokemon with a peach on his head. Uh, this cost me only 600 won, which is essentially 50 American cents, 40p. It's a very standard notebook, I know, but I couldn't really pass it up because Pokemon stuff overseas is usually very, it's the generic, you know, it's the generic, trading card slash anime kind of Pikachu. Nothing is stylized, nothing is cute. So when I saw it, I was like, yes, I, I'm not sure what I'm gonna use it for, but for 50 cents, I thought, <laughs> you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna afford that. And uh, it was a treat yourself type of moment, so yeah. So the third item is this notebook. It's quite large, probably A4, and it has this very cute hamster I assume it's a hamster on the front, surrounded by little cakes and treats. Whenever I study, I use up a lot of notebooks and a lot of pens, so this is just something that I have taken onto myself as I am currently studying a couple things and I needed a new place to put things in. I quite like the paper quality. It's not too thin, yet it's obviously not the too thick quality that you would expect from an expensive notebook. The stationery section itself is split into the branded, like the purely branded expensive stationery, then into the sort of generic bookstore-ish 
one with these types of notebooks and the Pikachu notebook and the stickers and then further down you get the pens, the pencils, whatever have you. They also have a discount aisle. Uh, this aisle is mostly of kind of um, price range of the stuff that you would find in Daiso. So the colored pencils came from that because they were only 2001 and then you could find the tape, correction, tapes, erasers, all that standard stationery that you wanted in that row. So you don't need to shop around the entire stationery section and you don't need to spend um, like on some pencil cases, etc. There was like 21,001. So in the, especially in the brand one, you can find what you're looking for in the bookstore depending where you're looking at but yes coming back this notebook really like it it it's very cute and i'm quite excited to use it properly and see how it absorbs ink although i'm pretty sure it's going to be as any standard notebook here that you can see slightly through it but it is fine regardless also my camera just flashed thank you i have no idea what happened but last but not least out of the stationary section itself is this mystery bag. As you can tell, it is obviously a bag. And on the front, you have this very, very cute Phoenix Fox. Uh, on the back, it says that the items in this bag are worth uh, 13,000 won, but you're purchasing it only for 10,000. I am going to open this sometime next month because I bought it as a present to myself. And when that time comes, I will definitely show it on camera because I don't know what's in here. I'm assuming there were different styles of bag uh, and the bag style corresponded to a lot of the stationery that they already had, like the stickers and the little notepads, etc. So um, I'm assuming that what I picked was the fox theme, but it could be literally anything. Hopefully very soon we shall see what is inside because as I said, it's a present. It is a present to me and I'm going to wait for a little while before opening. So that is it for the stationery part of the bookstore. I did get something, uh, a few other pieces from the bookstore itself. So I'm going to show them to you now. The first thing are these Miraculous Ladybug stickers. To cut a long story short, Miraculous Ladybug is a series produced by a French animation studio. I started watching it about a year ago because one of the official dubs is French. I was practicing my French. The first season was a children's show. I decided, you know what, children's show, I can't go wrong. I can't go much wrong there. I will understand everything that they're saying, just, you know, for practice. And then it turns out that it's really good. It's really actually good. And there's a huge fan base behind the series now of uh, young adults and older teens. And the second season that's just coming out is a lot more self-aware and funnier and aimed at the audience that actually started liking it in the first place. So if you're ever in doubt at why this is a popular thing, I would just say check out season two. It's it's worth it. And uh, there we go, that, recom that absolutely unnecessary recommendation into a stationary video. But yeah, this is, this is what I got from, they're basically just sticker books uh, and one of them, this in particular is going to go to my friend overseas. For my last item, I got this. This is from the actual bookstore. It's the actual Japanese version of the Naruto manga. And the good thing about manga is that it is geared towards young adults and children, people who don't, who might not know all the kanji. And my kanji is pretty bad. So yeah, this is more for self-learning. Yeah, I thought of putting it in because I did get it at Kyobo, so not stationary, but when I said that you can get a lot of language books at Kyobo Bookstore, you can, Japanese included. I, uh, editing this in, so I forgot two more stationary stuff, uh, and these are these two pens. One of them is a Micron pen. It was on discount. I've never used Microns before. I've heard a lot of good stuff about them. The pens that I'm using, their nibs have already started to wear out. So I thought, why not? I'm gonna try give Micron a go just because, yeah. And the second one is a white jelly roll pen. Uh, jelly roll is great. White pens are great, especially for art. I have a, another white pen. And I just want to see how Jelly Roll compares to that. Uh, anyway, I am gone now. Back to the video. <laughs> Back to the original recording of the video. Anyway, so that's it for the stationery haul today. I hope you enjoyed that. I really recommend going and checking out Kyobo Bookstore if you want, if you want to meet your stationery needs, especially here in South Korea. I am genuinely going to go back because I couldn't look at everything in one go. It really is overwhelming with how many things there are and how many things 
you can choose. As I've mentioned, I'm going to open the Missouri bag sometime next month, hopefully, and I will definitely be posting a video on this channel. So if you are interested in finding out what is in there, as much as I am, I really wish that <laughs> I could open it now. So I guess you could subscribe and find out with me when the time comes. Tell me in the comments below what your favorite thing was out of the ones that I bought. For me personally, I think it has to be the mystery bag just because it looks really cute, the stickers and the notebook because the hamster is absolutely adorable. But yeah, I will see you next time with more stationery probably, a new video next week. So bye.